I'll tell you how I got into art college. It, this was in the 60s, um, 67. Art students seemed to be having a hell of a good time doing nothing, and, and uh, I could do that. I, I applied to go to Maidstone, do a foundation course. I, I got an interview, and in the form it said, bring along a portfolio of your works. Well, I mean, I never did art at school, so I, I, I looked at what a portfolio was, and it seemed to be some sort of suitcase. I made these about three drawings, which were awful, on, on a big piece of paper that were rolled up, and uh, this really crap bit of plaster of Paris figure, which I'd wrapped up in an old cardigan. And I put them in a suitcase, and I went along for the interview, and I was sitting in the hot, looking at all this work, and I think, Christ, this is amazing drawings, all this stuff that there were the degree show students, and I could never ever do any of this stuff. This is fantastic. Anyway, I was called into the interview and I got the suitcase, I opened it up and I unrolled the drawing and I said, oh, could you hold it down that end? Because it kept going like this, you know. And I put this on the... And they were just gobsmacked, it was aghast at, at you know, such incompetence. And, and, you know, and then, I, then I got another one out and then I got this, this sculpture out and put that down on top of it. And... Uh, that they said, uh, what, what, what we think you should do is, is go away, um, basically bugger off, uh, and, and come back, reapply in a year's time with a fresh body of work. And they were just basically get, giving me the bum's rush. And then the door opened, and this guy walked in, who, who was the head of schools, and his name was uh, Jerry DeRose. And he, he was about to be booted out for some indiscretion or something. And he just got the paper and got accepted on it never said a word, and then walked out. And they picked up this thing, I bet, and they threw it all in the dustbin. And got, oh, they really lost it. But I, I got it. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a grant. I got seven pounds a week. <laughs> and then the first, then, then, then it was starting. The very first model I drew was Quinton Crisp, which <laughs> was really quite astonishing for a boy from home. It wasn't until I left the college, just basically I couldn't bear it. I didn't want a degree. I didn't want to be involved in it. Um, I felt if you're going to be an artist, you don't need a, a certificate. Uh, how wrong I was, you know, because you could have signed on and got a much better dole if I'd got a degree, you know. Um, so I just left and, and um, just basically started work. I mean, you know, it took about a year to, to get, get all the art college stuff out of my head and, and just find my own language.